So what I'm doing here is I have a very small plasma tube here on top of this other little plasma tube and I have it hooked up to the multimeter and right now you can see that um, passively going through the uh, through the uh, neon plasma tube there's approximately 37 volts and a very interesting phenomenon I found out that it truly does act as an inductor when you have a bucking current across a plasma tube. I'm going to um, take a uh, uh, a couple magnets in bucking field and place it right above where the small plasma tube is horizontally here and watch the voltage. Here we go. Here are the two tubes or here are the two magnets in bucking. Notice what's happening to the voltage. Just by placing a bucking field across that neon tube it went from 20 volts to 75 volts just like so. So the, the inductor is actually, um, you know, the voltage going across this definitely increases uh, dramatically with the bucking fields present. So again, we're 20 volts and it'll go up to 70. Just like so with the bucking fields there. Thought you might find it interesting. Okay guys, we're gonna try this, we're gonna try the same experiment with uh, a very large powerful magnet bucking field from the Cromry and see what it does to the voltage um, going across the plasma tube when we subject it to um, two north fields uh, from the Cromry. So here we go. We're starting around 22 volts, 24 volts. And let's put the strong magnetic field there. And the bucking field across the plasma bulb is raising it over 70 volts right there. So you can see the strong magnetic field definitely has an effect on the conductivity of the plasma tube to be sure. Uh, so nothing else it verifies plasma tubes can act as an inductor and I thought you might find it interesting. And there you go. There's the removal of the magnetic field. Pretty neat. Thanks.